Well, hello again. Here we are back out here at it. We've got uh, we've got our 180 up on our new table. Um, this is a, a John Deere model 180, which is powered by a 17 horse Kawasaki um, single cylinder, and it's a model F. C 540 V. Um, I took went ahead and took this off because all the screws for it were in a bag under the hood and it, it wasn't hooked on so I took that off and then I pulled the air cleaner off. Um, we have no idea of anything about this tractor other than I can tell you it's it was reasonably complete. It's got a uh, 46 inch um, mower deck on it that we took off and got that out of here but as we see we've got we've got wires that aren't hooked up here um, the engine is free it does turn over it's got really clean nice oil on it um, of course no battery everything here looks to be hooked up the only thing I see that's just not is just these wires here, which I assume just go to the starter solenoid. Um, we don't have a key for it, so we're going to have to do something there. Um, so I think maybe the first thing we'll do is we'll, well, I'm going to put a battery in it and see if we can get it to turn over. And we have spark, and um, if that's the case, then possibly what we'll do is um, we'll just bypass. I'm not sure what's in it for fuel, how old it is. So I think we'll just we'll bypass that and just put an alternate source right in it. The other problem with this is this, uh, as you can see, this is this is nice and free. And this is nice and free, but our steering is locked right up solid. It won't turn. So a couple of uh, issues right away. Like I say, we have no idea what this is, so we'll find out, and we'll um, we'll be right back. All right. So I've gone ahead. Oops. I've gone ahead, I've hooked up the wires as it makes sense here going to our starter. And everything here is hooked up. I put our battery in there. Um, let's take a look. Just make sure. Okay. So we've got we've got ground with no issues. Okay, now according to I popped the ignition switch loose here, and according to I don't know how well you can see this, but according to the diet, yes, okay. So we've got we've got power at our switch. Okay. So if we take, put that there, and we take this, clip on to our little screwdriver. All right, we have ground at our switch, that's good. Now, if you see right here, this wire right here, this purple wire, is the one that comes down to, there's a connector right on the end of my finger and the one that comes up and goes into this relay which ultimately goes to there so I'm thinking if I can find my little well that's just silly somewhere here I've dropped my oh, the 
Okay, there it is. My little screwdriver. Um, I'm thinking if we do a little, little jump to that. I'm sorry about all the shake. I'm just trying to do this one-handed. Um, I'm thinking if we do a little jump to that, we should turn over. Let's try. Oh, okay. All right. All right, we have... Starter runs with no problem, but it's not engaging. Okay, almost. Almost looks like it's not in the right spot. The starter was loose as well, and I did um, snug it up. I don't think there's much adjustment. In this, let's loosen this up. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And uh, let me do this. I gotta get a. See, I'm suspecting this is the problem, maybe that somebody was having. This is our starter engagement is all off. Let's do a quick, a quick check with it just a little loose. Didn't like that. You can see it's the starter is loose now, so okay. Um, interesting. Well, I wonder if maybe we should do a little checking and see if we have the incorrect starter for this. Interesting. But um, clearly I think all of our wiring and everything is okay. So when you when you get some of the sometimes when you get these little tractors you don't know exactly why I mean I paid like fifty bucks for this tractor and it's complete and everything like that and you just don't know why people get rid of stuff you know and like I said the guy that I got it from he's got like a little salvage yard for him he probably got it for nothing you know somebody gave it to him wanted it off their lawn so anyways we'll have to uh, we'll have to check that out we'll have to see if that is actually the correct starter for our 17 horse um, Kawasaki. So, that kind of shortened that project there. We can work on our steering and take these panels off and get up in there and see that something's, something's not right in there. Um, okay, so last night um, we went for a drive. Um, up above Burlington, Vermont with the trailer and we picked up this one here and this one here is an LT-133 which is powered by a 13 horsepower Kohler engine it runs runs very well drives good it's a, it's a 5 speed geared transmission not a hydro. Um, works just great. No problem. Um, but the deck that was on it, it's got a 42 inch um, mulching deck. And the particular deck on this, what it, the belt, there's two blades in the deck. And one blade is actually run by the belt. The second blade is run by a chain off the first one. So there's something wrong there. Only half of the mower deck is working. So the guy got frustrated with it. He says it was way too complicated and bought a new lawnmower. So I got this tractor here for practically nothing. I can say perfectly good tractor. The only problem with it is 
Yeah, the the hood, the front part of the top piece of the hood, the plastic is broken. So I'm going to find another one of those, and um, that'll make it complete. Other than going through the deck on it, but I'm not worried about the deck right now. I'm just coming into. I got two decks out there so far to go through. So. That one there is a good little find. Um, like I said, I ran it around here today, and I think that's probably going to be the one that I use here on here on the property to pull my little trailer. Um, and this here is an LT150 um, that we've got, and it's uh, missing a hood. I have no hood. No, it's just it is. Doesn't have a deck. Um, it's another one that's been sitting around for quite a while. The, a few on it, it's just stagnant. Um, but this is supposed to be a 15 horsepower, and it, for whatever reason, it's got a Kohler 17.5 in it. So I don't know what's going on here. This is, I just basically have got this in here. It's essentially a, a parts tractor, but I just, I've got it in here because I want to see if that engine runs. And um, I would like to know if the transmission and everything is okay in it. Because I've got another LT150 that I'm looking at. That's a pretty decent deal. It's a okay tractor, runs good, mows, everything like that. But it's hydrostatic and the, the hydrostatic unit has gone bad in it. So it would be possible to get that and take the, take the drive out of this one and uh, convert that hydro and the other LT150 over to um, a geared transmission. So, something there we're looking at, but this one here was a good find. Uh, of course, you know, our 180, it's a, uh, hopefully we'll figure it out. I can say it's a starter issue, but we'll see. Um, some other ones that we've got here, we've got some, the, the John Deere's are ones, number one, I use here, I use the John Deere's on the property here for maintaining everything and just love them, but I also like the, um, I like the really old ones, so I've kind of picked up a few older tractors and these would be just restoration pieces and we'll use them for shows and, you know, parades or stuff like that, but this one, particular one here, is a 1965 um, Sears Suburban 725 and 725 is a seven and a quarter horsepower um, engine Briggs and Stratton on this one here this is a nice old it's an original tractor it hasn't been really messed with at all it has not run the guy fellow that I got it from as he put it has not run in um, many years so this is one of our projects um i'd like to actually have this done there's a there's a farm ag and lawn show uh not too far from here in the spring and i would actually like to have this tractor done and be able to take it there so we'll see we'll see how it goes but i kind of like that one that's a nice one and uh camera girl has a tractor well of sorts it's not really well this is a Aaron's Emperor. Um, once again, it's a pretty complete original um, unit. Hasn't been all messed with. Um, engine is free. Turns over. Of course, the, the tires, as you can see, are rotted right off of it. Um, according to the VIN number on this, as close as I can determine, and I'm really new on a lot of this tractor stuff, so if I get a year wrong or something, or don't... Uh, don't send a lynch mob you know I'm, I'm still trying to learn and research a lot of this stuff out but this from what I've been able to gather so far from the VIN tag off this this is a 1961 so it's a very very early um, rider and um, I'd really I'd like to get this one going and uh, done for her as well for the same same show in the spring we'll see I think she'd have fun riding around riding around fairgrounds on that so but we have that one there, of course, these three John Deere's. And we also, 
Let's see. Hopefully, hopefully it's light enough out here. Pick it up. Um, try. Anyway, this is. Yeah, let me go get light. This is not gonna work. That's just too dark. Ugh. This camera, the camera that I use, actually does have a light on it. But to be honest with you, it's pretty much useless. So this is my my main shop right here that you know I'm using. And right next door here we have what I'm calling the garage, which uh, we need to do some sealing up and uh, do some insulating. And this is uh, also another great great workspace. But tractor-wise, um, we have this guy, which is a an L, John Deere LT155, which is a 15 and a half horsepower Kohler. This tractor was originally um, my dad's, who's passed away. And my mom used it for a while after that and ended up sitting in her garage for a few years. Um, but I got, I got it out and I got it going. And um, that's a family heirloom that'll never go anywhere. So, but it's a 38 inch mower on that and it actually it's a very very handy tractor I use it for um, trim mowing around it's handy getting in around small spots and under the trees stuff like that and I've been using it to haul my little trailer here but I think I'm gonna get our LT133 hooked up to this one and that'll be its lot in life and then this one here we'll just use for for mowing and over here we have my uh, L130 and the L130 is powered by a 23 horsepower Kohler it's a twin cylinder on that one and that's got the four foot deck um, it's got the grass and uh, leaf collection system on it and this that's my main main mower that's the one I cut most of the grass so we have a lot of grass to cut on this property when I go out cutting, I mean, it's a three to five hour project, depending on how it goes that day. So it gets used quite a bit. Um, it's very comfortable, works very well. Um, good running machine. It's got a little bit of, little bit of cosmetic damage here. It's got this little piece in the hood that's broke. I do have another hood that'll fit this tractor out in the storage shed. But uh, right now, as a working unit, I'm not too worried about it. Someday down the road, if we ever, you know, do any kind of restoration on this, we'll we'll change that over. So, and then over here, now I'm not really sure on the year on this. I believe it's somewhere around, and everybody correct me if they I'm wrong and they know, around in 1966. This is a Sears. Um, it was called a Custom. And it's a six horsepower. They had these in several different horsepower versions. This is a six horse horsepower version. Um, it's a recoil start on this. And I think it's just the four forward speeds in the transmission. But once again, it's a, it's a very original old tractor. It's not all messed up. It does run. Um, I drove it in here. Um, it need, needs some work. It just needs some restoration. And that's, uh, that's on the plate too. But that's kind of back burner. That's just a... Just a neat old one I thought would look good in the collection. And here, I'm not really sure on the year on this one here. I think this one here is somewhere around a 67, 68, 69, somewhere in there. This is a Sears Suburban. It's what they called an SS12. Um, this tractor is actually in really nice shape. Um, but somebody, they put the, put the bigger ag tires on the back. Um, it's been repowered. That's a 10 horsepower Kohler. Quite sure that wasn't originally what it had. Um, they they tractor pulled with this. It's got the adjustable hitch on the back. But everything else is uh, it hasn't been messed with. Everything else is original. The the dash and, and everything is in good shape. The only thing that's missing is that hole right there is where, believe it or not, the cigarette lighter went in this. But this is an eight-speed transmission. Um, it's basically high and low range. Um, it's kind of neat, and this one runs really, really well. Um, 
it's very loud. They've just got this uh, this pipe coming up out of here. Uh, no muffler. But it's a nice old tractor. Tractor. It's in real good shape, and uh, we'll be we'll be on the look to find, you know, the correct the wheels and tires for the back of it. I would like to actually find the correct engine for it. Take this Kohler out of it and uh, put the old original um, starter generator system back on it and have it, you know, just the way it was. But that's another one. Um, it's just kind of neat in the collection. So that's kind of it. Um, there is another John Deere um, tractor out in the storage shed. That's essentially the next one smaller than the 180. It's a, it's a 170. And that particular tractor is um, missing the engine and some bunch of other stuff. It's essentially a rolling chassis. It does have a hood on it, which, but uh, not much else. So there you have it. That's kind of the tractor collection at the moment. Um, I've got several others that we're, we're looking at and maybe acquiring. And then one by one we'll get them been fixed up cleaned up and we'll get them ready to sell I don't know if any of them will go until maybe next spring or next summer now is not really the time to sell especially mowers um, if I had some snowblower attachments for these they would go pretty well I do have actually one snowblower attachment that goes on my uh, 120 but that's for use here on the property so that's kind of it that's what we're doing just out here living the dream I guess and fooling with the little tractors so thanks for stopping by and as always you know we appreciate uh, appreciate your viewing we appreciate your comments and we just appreciate your subscription so till the next time um, you know and I know Take it easy.